This segment is sponsored by VCU Health. The doctor is in and you have questions. The Delta variant is the major form of coronavirus currently circulating in the United States. It's well known for being highly contagious, and yet Virginia has a lower caseload than many states in terms of Delta variant COVID-19 hospitalizations. Dr. Michelle Dahl, an infectious disease specialist, joins us to tell us more about how we can stay protected and healthy. Dr. Dahl, it's great to see you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Let's talk a little bit specifically. Should we be worried about the Delta variant here in Virginia? And if you are vaccinated, are you fully protected against getting this infection? So we should be worried about the Delta variant for a couple of reasons. Um, we are seeing, even here in Virginia, our case rates rise over the last couple of weeks um, after a period where we were seeing very low numbers. Um, we are also seeing a slow transition in the proportion of cases that are caused by the Delta variant. Um, and we do expect in the near future for the Delta variant to take over as the major variant concern of interest um, a concern, sorry, in our state as well, um, similar to what we were seeing in other states. Um, the Delta variant, as you mentioned, is more transmissible um, than some of the, even than some of the other variants that we were looking at with concern over the past several months. Um, to give you an example, according to the CDC, um, the Alpha variant originally discovered in the UK that you may have heard a lot about previously um, was thought to be about 50% more transmissible than the original virus. Well, the Delta variant um, is thought to be another 50% more transmissible than the Alpha. Um, so there, there is reason to believe that um, this could um, really um, put, um, um, put a kink in our plans to get back to the, the new normal um, and all of the things that we've been doing over the last several months. Um, the vaccines um, are good protection against all of the uh, circulating variants that we are looking at carefully at this time. So they are not 100% effective, but you remember that these vaccines were never 100% protective. Even in the initial studies that was done in the environment of the original virus, um, you were seeing unheard of vaccine efficacy in the high 90s. Um, well, it's dropped subsequently since then in the newer studies, you're seeing less efficacy. But critically important, these vaccines are still doing what we really need them to do, and that is decreasing the risk of overall um, infection. And for those people who are vaccinated who do still get COVID-19, their disease is less severe and unlikely to result in hospitalizations or severe disease. Um, so it has continued to evolve in its transmiss transmissibility and certainly how infectious it is. Are the symptoms and the outcomes worse with this Delta variant? We have about a minute left, Dr. Dahl. Um, there is reason to think that the Delta variant may cause more severe disease than the original virus, but that is still being looked at. Um, what we do know is, as I mentioned, it is much more transmissible than the original virus and even more transmissible than some of the other circulating variants. Interesting. How how can we best protect ourselves and loved ones, Dr. Dahl? Um, well, a, a key um, piece is that if you have not been vaccinated, it is extremely important to get vaccinated. We have robust safety data from millions of people at this point that we know that these vaccines um, that are available here in the United States are both safe and very effective, and they continue to be effective. And again, provide that level of protection from severe disease um, that we, we will potentially really need in the coming months. Um, also, the, as you may be aware, the CDC has changed their guidelines a little bit to recommend that even if you are vaccinated, um, you go back to wearing masks in places that are indoors um, and or even outdoors that are going to be um, crowded. So regardless of vaccination status, we should all be universally masking um, and maintaining that six feet of distance um, and some of the other social distancing um, maneuvers that we were accustomed to over the past year. Dr. Dahl, we're out of time, but I have to ask this question. What does the horizon look like for kids heading back to school this fall? Well, we know that children can and do get COVID-19. Um, and so the recommendation is that um, children um, over the age of two would mask when they're in these public spaces, including schools, um, and also children 12 years and older, again, it's critically important that they get their vaccine um, to offer that level of protection for both um, ourselves and our community. Dr. Dahl, thank you so much for making the time to talk with us. This is critically important. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll share a little bit more information so you can learn more about VCU Health. Visit vcuhealth.org.
and stay with us. There's still much more Virginia this morning coming up right after this.